A very warm welcome to the learning home. Uh, today we are going to discuss two important tips related to the Excel chart. First one is that how to add a dynamic chart title and the second one is how to add dynamic access title. And dynamic I'm referring to some values in a cell which you can keep changing and the value, the chart title or the access title will keep changing based on that value. So in order to do the exercise, here is our sample data set. And uh, before I start your discussion, uh, I like this one to notice that I'm using Microsoft Office 365. So let's uh, get started with the first tips. That is uh, how to add a dynamic chart title. So at the moment, we don't have a chart title even in this graph. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the this chart title first. So you just click it once, you will see a three option plus icon, brush icon, and the filter icon appeared. So you can click this chart element by pressing the plus icon and you will see a multiple option. You will see that chart title is not selected here first. So let's select it. Now when you select it, it appeared over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this and enter refer the cell. So for me, I want to enter this revenue as a chart title. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click it on that cell and you will see it is changed over here. Suppose now this value is linked to the cell A1 and if I am keep changing the value, it will keep changing over here. So I will go back to the previous one. Now, how we're going to add the uh, dynamic access title. And here again, we don't have the access title is generally here and we don't have the access title either. So let's add the access title first, again, same way. And uh, you will see the access title is here. And when you select it, you will see both the access title appeared over here. You can do the same thing by clicking it here, chart design. And on the extreme left hand side, there is a call add chart elements. Access title, you see we have both the access titles. So you can see the both uh, option is highlighted here. So we have both the values. So let's get started with the how we are going to change the access title. Uh, here we have the primary horizontal axis and we want this one to be as a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again equal sign and enter it. You are done. Suppose here is like we want to change it something which is not over here let's say or we want to change it to amount or any value. So we can do, we can just click it over there and, and it's changed. And if you're going to change this value, it is going to change automatically. So you can see I have changed this value. It is changed over here. Imagine a situation where the bottom primary horizontal axis, if you want to change from quarter to quarter two zero two zero. So first thing it will come in our mind that let's change it from here just type it there and it will change it automatically and that's what it has happened here. But imagine a situation where we can't change this value because of the uh, need of the data table itself. So what we can do we can create one more uh, cell value and change it that cell value based on our preference. So we can either use ampersand function function or concatenate function. So I'm going to use the ampersand function first here to generate that our desired value. So we want quarter first and then ampersand and then initiation of quotation mark and 2020 quotation mark closed. So you will see it appeared like this and I want this value to be, I mean the primary horizontal value to be like this. So I'm going to change it 
and refer this value to cell E2 and which is what has happened here and you can see it has changed. It might be also coming to your mind that can we change the formula here itself and unfortunately you can't do it. So I'm going to show it to have a feel. I'm going to use E2. And you will see an error message. So it is not allowing you to use a formula like this. So we will go back to the, the previous way what we have done. So that is all for the discussion today. In case you find it interesting, please do subscribe, like and share. Please also press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the future videos. And if you want me to cover any new topics, please suggest me by writing in the comment section. I will cover it in the future videos. And with this, goodbye and see you soon.